It has been a long time, 10 months, 10 months, 10 months to be precise, since I last uploaded my video on YouTube. And I never thought that I would be making a comeback on YouTube again and talking to you people again. But you know what, I realized that it doesn't matter how hard uh, life puts you down and how hard time has become, you'll always find a way of doing the thing that you love the most. It's your passion that drives you and you will come back again and again doing the thing that you care for. That's how passion works, right? Today I'll tell you a story, a story about myself, about my job, about how I quit the job to become a full-time photographer and the struggles that I have seen through. But I'll not do that sitting right here on this chair and talking to you. I'll be a boring video. I'll talk to you and I'll keep taking pictures. I'll keep doing whatever the thing I like the most. So without wasting any further time, let's keep the camera rolling. Let's go out with me. I am at the Princep Ghat in Kolkata. This is the pre-wedding destination of my city. So I am here at this place because my love for photography started when I was a kid and I visited here with my dad. You know, at that time, I don't remember having a camera. None of us in the family, uh, we possess a camera at that time. But I wanted to take the pictures of the beautiful uh, bridges and the beautiful water body that you can see around here. So I have come here to again take some pictures. So let's uh, do that. Let's take some pictures and we'll be back again with the story. So it's story time now. I thought of you know talking to you guys while shooting there at the Prince of Ghat. But you know, people are looking at us in such a way that you know it was not possible. And that's very common in our city that whenever you're carrying a full vlogging kit, people are just too curious and they just want to listen what you're doing. But nevertheless, I'm here relaxed at my own room and uh, let's start about my story. I was uh, around 20 or 21 years old when I got my first camera. I bought it with my first salary. I completed my education in the year 2011 and uh, I got my first camera in the same month that I got my first salary. I started shooting. I started shooting for hobby, not for profession because I loved uh, photography and my love for photography is uh, mostly because of the city that I live in, in Kolkata because the beautiful uh, heritage, the beautiful culture and the beautiful architecture in the city has always intrigued me into capturing the images whatsoever. So from then I started my job and I'm not going to name my companies that I work for but I started working at a multinational company. Since the moment I started working, I realized that I couldn't do this for the entirety of my life, you know, because that's not what I was meant to do and I was not enjoying it. But I had to continue working there because, you know, you belong from a middle class family where your job is as important as your life. But I was not really enjoying it and I had to do it. But after a year or so, I changed into another company and where I got uh, my first promotion. And then slowly years passed by and the time went by, I made some horrible financial decisions about my life. I couldn't handle money. I wasted all the money that I earned and I was already in a soup before you know it. But still I was working because that's the only way now, which started as a career later, it became a compulsion that I have to work because I have to pay the money to the bank. So that's how it went on for the seven next seven years. And uh, I slowly started to realize that the thing that I'm not even liking or, this, or, or the job that I'm not even interested in, I got a promotion there. So why not invest some time for myself and do the things that I love doing and change my passion into my profession? 
So this uh, idea came to me in the year 2018. And then suddenly, before you know it, I just quit my job one day. One fine morning, I just quit my job without thinking of the consequences that might come, without thinking of the finances that I was able to manage while I was working. But I just quit it. I wrote one email to my manager and that's it. I never went back to my office again. And then the period of struggle just came in. Initially, I was shooting for a passion, for my passion, because I was loving it. But now when I quit my job and I had to look into photography and do more serious perspective, uh, all the problems started to come in. There was so much competition and I had no idea what to do. I was a total novice and really I was really depressed by thinking about how we'll handle the money every coming month. And the first three months, I didn't have uh, enough money to go to a meetings, go to the meetings, to meet new people, or to meet my clients, or even to go from point A to point B to start shooting for, uh, for anything or at all. So I started working for a page in uh, Kolkata. It was a very famous page, I'm not gonna name it. But yeah, I got my first few projects from there. And uh, it was, of course, for free mostly. And then I started charging a little bit, but that was, the most difficult part of this life because you know what people always see that I'm an established photographer although I don't believe that I'm an established photographer even now because I'm still working really hard and I'm really struggling but okay I got I have done something to show my clients that okay I'm worth it and you're gonna pay me the money that I need or pay me the money that it is worth my work is worth so that's how it started so first uh, three months it was hell I would not uh, recommend this to anyone who is watching you know, just quit your job and start uh, shooting for your profession because that's not going to happen. The world is not a fairy tale world for you because it is difficult. And I didn't have enough gear with me to you know shoot professionally because I saw all of the professional photographers with those expensive gears worth millions of bucks. But come on, man! I was just a normal guy. I just uh, got my first camera, first professional camera, which is not even a professional camera, which is Sony A6000, which is a basic camera as it can be. And with that camera, I started shooting uh, professionally, as you would say, because once you start uh, getting money out of your work, you call it a professional thing. So that's how it is. There was one thing which uh, my job is responsible for, or which my job gave me, is the ability to write quality emails. And that's how I got my clients, because I was able to write them great emails and you would be you and you know you're a compulsion of replying to them because that's what i was talking about today as well a friend of mine about how you write emails and stuff like that so that the other person or the person who we're intending that email to will reply to them. so i got that communication skill mostly on writing uh, and it helped me land a few clients initially but after a year or so i was able to survive and i was really surprised at this because you know I never thought that I would be working as a full-time photographer, even though I quit my job for it, but there was always a doubt in my mind. So when I started it as a full-time photographer, after a year, looking back into the finances, I was able to handle most of it and very successfully. Although I'm very careful now with my money and I don't uh, really spend the way I used to. But there has been constant support by some people. You know, you, in life, you would need some people who would support you. It may be your family, it may be a friend, it may be from a source that you never expect from. But there are few people who would keep constant support in you and who trust you and trust your skills and ask you to go forward. That's very, very important. And I have that with me. And that's how I have been shooting for the last three years now. And I am planning never to work again. Never to work again for someone else. I mean, I mean I'm always working for my hobby, working for my profession, working. I love the job that I have right now. So that's how it is, basically. So if you are thinking that you want to turn your passion into profession or you, if you love photography or videography or anything related to any form of art, I would say you can do it. There is nothing you cannot. All you need is one simple thing. Your strength, your ability to believe in yourself and, just, and the ability to never give up. Never give up on your dreams because no matter what the dream is or no matter how big the dream is or how ridiculous the dream is, it's always achievable. Age doesn't matter, your education doesn't matter, and your background doesn't matter. You can always have the life that you want. It's just that you have to continuously work hard towards it. That's the only bit of advice that I want to give all my viewers. That if you're thinking of doing something that, you're, that you love doing, and you want to feel your soul every day, day in and day out, just believe in yourself and keep doing what you love. And that's how you're going to be move forward. So that's it. That's my story. That's actually a very small story or a story that doesn't even matter. 
but you know it's a big deal for me because I want to share this to, uh, with you and this video uh, took me 10 months to make because there are so much problems, so much personal issues that I've been facing that I couldn't continue with YouTube. But thanks to my friend Sarabjit here who is behind the camera, who is always pushing me to come back on YouTube again and this video, you're going to see some cool cuts and cool stuff in this video and that's all done by him. I am just a mere actor in this, uh, uh, this video, it's just my story to tell. He's the man behind the camera, I will link his Instagram. Um, link on the description box below and there it is, there it is, Sarbji unedited, alright. So that's all from my side today, I'll be back again, I promise that I'll be back again next week with another video and this time things are going to be a little different because I'm making a comeback, so I guess things are not going to be the same as you have seen so far, it's going to be more retaining. So if you like my videos, I know that you have given me immense support, I never expected that when I come back on YouTube again, I'll have 3000 subscribers but I have it now. Yeah, so that's all from my side today. I'll see you again next week. Till then, happy shooting and take care of yourself and keep following your dreams no matter what, you will achieve it.